Hi, Peter Wood here with you again for True North Marines Trainings uh, presentation number four for the answers to exam questions. This is for the Short Range Operator Certificate of Proficiency or VHF Marine Radio License. This presentation covers the questions from 61 through to 80. Question 61. What type of message may follow the safety, security signal? A would be the correct answer, a weather or navigational warning. Question 62. Initial routine calling of Sea Rescue Banff by the vessel Foxy Spirit on a VHF channel may be abbreviated to which of the following? So with VHF you can abbreviate by calling the other station once and identifying yourself twice. So D would be the correct answer. Question 63, which channel does Marine VHF DSC operate on? So that operates on channel 70. D is the correct answer. Question 64, is that an acknowledgement expected for a safety message? The answer is no. Safety messages relate to safety information, such as weather or navigational uh, information, but you're not expected to reply to it. Question 65. What is the correct phonetic spelling of the vessel name Pipe Dream? Papa, India, Papa, Echo, Delta, Romeo, Echo, Alpha, Mike. DA is the correct answer. Question 66. What is the Marine VHF channel for voice, distress voice communications? That would be channel 16. Question 67. What is the urgency signal? And D is the correct answer. Pan, 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 pan for urgency. What identifying information does a 406 megahertz EPIRB transmit? So it transmits the unique identifier, a number usually found on the side of the EPIRB that is already pre-programmed into the EPIRB. The unique identifier, A. Question 69. Generally speaking, what range would you expect by a marine VHF? VHF are known as line of sight radio, so that is short range. C is the correct answer. Question 70. Which of the following is a VHF working channel? So 67 is a supplementary distress uh, channel, so that wouldn't be correct. Channel 70. DSC channel, that wouldn't be correct. Channel 6, uh, ship to aircraft channel, that's not correct. So that leaves D, channel 7-3, VHF working channel. Question 71, what is the purpose of a calling frequency? So calling frequency, such as, such as uh, channel 1-6, is to initiate a call from station to station. Question 72, to whom should safety calls and messages be addressed? C is the correct answer, to all or even to an individual station. Explanation from the handbook there shown at the bottom. Question 73, what is the correct phonetic spelling of the boat name Huon Mistress? So D is the correct answer. Hotel Uniform Oscar, November Mike India, Sierra Tango Romeo, Echo Sierra Sierra. Question 74. How long should the 406 megahertz EPIRB be capable of transmitting? Again, the explanation from the handbook. The correct answer is C, minimum 48 hours. Question 75. Is an EPIRB an accepted alternative to a radio transceiver? Well, the answer is no. B is the correct answer. They're two completely different devices. Question 76. What information should be entered into a logbook? Again, there's the explanation from the Marine Radio Handbook, but B is the correct answer. You should record all distress alerts and messages transmitted and received. Question 77.
whose authority is required before transmitting a distress call or a message. And D is the correct answer, the master, skipper or person responsible for the safety of the vessel. Question 78. Which channels are monitored with the dual watch control activated? So dual watch has to include channel 16, so that would be a working channel, and 16. A is the correct answer. Question 79. Which of the following, in accordance with the Radio Communications Act 1992, may incur extreme penalties? So B is the correct answer. False or deceptive distress, urgency or safety signals. And question 80. What is the effect on a marine transceiver of corrosion on lead acid battery terminals? So D is the correct answer. You'll get a failure of transmission together with dim light, dial lights or channel display when the transmit button is pressed. Okay, there's the uh, presentation number four for you. I'm looking out for future presentations and uh, thanks for your time. And uh, Peter Wood, say goodbye for now.